So I wanted to do uh, a quick little analysis of Warlock, the chorus uh, string part of Warlock. Um, I've always loved that part, as so many other people have, and wanted to work out what uh, Dwayne was playing. Luckily, on uh, Kevin's Patreon the other day, uh, he played the strings in isolation. And so I wanted to kind of show you my sort of analysis of what Dwayne's playing and kind of uh, if you were gonna try to play it, a way to think of what's happening. So uh, I pulled out my old uh, Arturia dusty little micro synth thing here. And I just kind of want to show you at least what I'm, what I'm hearing. So uh, the song is in E minor, uh, or the chorus is in E minor. And the bass line, uh, the synth bass line is pretty much just playing an E the whole time. But Dwayne's strings are alternating between a, uh, an E and a C, kind of back and forth um, consistently throughout the solo. It, it, in fact, actually on the, the first one, he's a little bit late to the C, which adds this cool little charm. But he's kind of going back and forth between these two notes. And the chords you could say over those are E minor to C major. Those are the alternating chords. Now, uh, he's most of the time he's playing what sounds like uh, he's not playing the third in the middle. So he's kind of omitting the middle note. So that's the G is omitted there and the E is omitted there. Okay, so if you're kind of playing it uh, with your left hand, you could just play E and C or you could play these two. Now up here, I'm gonna kind of do the melody uh, and I'm not a great piano player, so I'm going to kind of keep this simple, but this is kind of the way the melody goes. Okay, so for the music geeks out there, uh, a little bit of what's happening on a more theoretical level is Duane is, uh, appears to be very aware of the chord tones uh, that would be happening over these changes. So here's E minor, going to C. And uh, the chorus starts out on this E minor. Again, I would call it an E5 because it sounds like the, the G is omitted. And he's leading with his A note, which creates a very sort of unresolved sound. The note wants to drop down. Um, importantly, to me anyway, he doesn't start like this. The chord begins and sets up E minor, and then this rises in. That's part of that chord. And then as he switches, he goes to the G note, which is part of the C chord. Tension. And here's another bit of tension. He's gonna to go to the seventh of the E minor. That note has a lot of tension in it, which he's gonna resolve back up to here on the E note again. Now here, it sounds like he's kind of playing multiple uh, things at once, multiple, uh, the notes sustained through each other. So as the, uh, the chords come back around the second time, he's got this, again, part of the E minor chord. Then, this is all part of the E minor scale. And then once again, when it goes back to the E minor,
That's just a beautiful part, right? And then repeats. Tension, release right here. So that's uh that's my analysis. And again, the synth uh bass line appears to mostly just be playing an E note uh as like kind of a pedal tone through the whole thing. So uh thank you very much for uh checking this out. Hopefully this was useful for some of you. And a uh, big shout out to uh Kevin for uh giving me this little uh treat here, this gift uh when I met him um at DesignerCon. And hopefully that's a little bit of a way to look at the string part for Warlock.